Hi, this is Colin Clark at Iterate Breaking Defense here outside Leonardo DRS's offering of the T100 training uh, jet and training package for the U.S. Air Force. I'm talking with uh, Rico Vaco, and he's going to tell us why their gizmo is better than the other guy's gizmo. Hi, Go Colin. Ahead. Thanks very much. Pr appreciate it. Uh, yeah, like uh, like you said, this is the T100. This is the uh, TX Sentra for DRS Leonardo, and uh, we think it's a great airplane. We've been building Leonardo's and building fighters for a long time, 40, 50 years out there. We have a tradition in building it. Uh, we absolutely know what we're doing, and this is built from scratch as a trainer. So we think the Air Force is going to love this airplane. Uh, it's already being used right now to, to uh, train F-35 pilots in Italy and in Israel, um, and also being used in Singapore by the Polish Air Forces. So we're very confident that it meets everything, every uh, requirement of the Air Force. Um, now you're talking about the plane when you say it, yes, those requirements. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we think, to be honest with you though, we think all the airplanes are fantastic, but what we think really separates us from the crowd is our uh, LVC capabilities, live virtual and constructive capabilities. Uh, we're going to provide the Air Force a uh, integrated training system, which includes LVC, obviously, and uh, we've been working with that with our partner of CAE, CAE USA, for the last 10 years. Uh, it is operational today. It's not a system that's under development. Um, it is being used, um, and it is something we're offering right to the Air Force today. Now, let me ask you something about one of your competitors. Boeing and uh, Saab have turned out these two aircraft and pretty quick time, yep. they claim, da-da, we can build these fast, cheap, they're really good. Um, but your plane meets the technical requirements. Their plane meets the technical requirements, we assume. Do they actually have an advantage? Well, no, I don't think so. I think from an aircraft perspective, I think uh, all of the airplanes are gonna be great and they all meet the Air Force specifications. So the Air Force is gonna have to decide what makes them different and what you know what it is that they really want. And if they want to go directly from uh, the trainer to an F-35 or an F-22, then really there's only one airplane that's already doing it today, and it's this is the T-100 right now. Uh, it's a Leonardo aircraft, and the way they're doing it is by leveraging the 10 years that they've got uh, in LVC, uh, the LVC simulation and technology that's already developed, they're using that to leverage it. So much so that, for example, the Israeli Air Force, uh, it's our understanding they've been able to get rid of the F-16 bridge to the F-35, and they're going from uh, this airplane to right to the F-35. Perfect. Thank you very much.